Hey yo, this video is going to be about materialism and happiness. Materialism and happiness. The topic of this video is going to be about materialism and happiness. Because this is so important, materialism and happiness. Because a lot of us human beings, we do have like these types of misconceptions that in order to become happy, to become, to experience happiness, we need to like be concerned about like thing, very materialistic things like, look, I got this PS5, got a PS5 controller, nice computer there, nice computer, video games. Like happiness, in order to like, to be to, to experience happiness, we need to be very materialistic. We need to be concerned with materialism and getting a lot of materialistic commodities and items and stuff and and etc. and stuff. And that's how we're gonna become happy by like sort of like focusing on the material world and like thinking about like getting all these materialistic commodities and items like this PS5 that I got, which is very cool, or the, the PC. Materialism and happiness. This is like such an important, interesting topic. I do believe that material, like materialism and happiness, I don't believe there's any type of direct relationship. Actually, maybe I'm being kind of a dumbass materialism and happiness, because if you're like a, a bum, a hobo, a poor person, and you don't have a lot of money, and you, you're, you're very like, you're not privileged, and you're like you, have, like, you have to do a lot to like earn, to eat food and stuff, and you can't like easily afford the things, the basic things to survive as a, as a normal human being, then I do believe that you're going to probably be way worse off. I do believe maybe there perhaps might be like a very slight type of relationship between materialism and happiness because materialism, like money, all that type of stuff, money, like luxury items and wealth and all of that type of stuff, I think it does add up. I think it does contribute to like your overall like enjoyment in this world, in this life. To, to a certain extent though, I know that materialism and happiness, money, it makes it easier for us to live and stuff and it's easier to like afford food and to like sustain yourself and stuff. But overall money, not money, but materialism and stuff like that. Materialism, basically, the only these types of concerns about the materialistic world, caring about like materialistic commodities and stuff, and like sleeping, getting a lot of money, sleeping with a lot of women. Does all of that like guarantee happiness? I don't believe so, but I do believe that materialism, obviously, like is it, you, you have to somewhat be materialistic. You do have to care about money and stuff like that, and finances and stuff, and like making sure that you have like the right commodities around you and stuff to survive and to, to keep well and stuff. I do, because you know materialism you can't just completely not like care about like the physical material world just be like some type of monk person that lives in a cave and just has to drink his own urine and consume his own feces to stay alive obviously materialism and happiness there is like a very slight relationship because if you don't have like, if material in the sense that if you don't have like any type of like resources with you on you and stuff you if you can't like afford all the basic things that you need to like stay alive if you don't have any type of mean meaningful amounts of money to, to keep your, the lights on and stuff i do believe that you'll you're you happy in terms of like happiness you're gonna be very like miserable and depressed and sad and cold and probably on the streets somewhere and being a bum probably have to like do things that aren't like pleasant so in terms of like um like materialism and happiness i do believe there might be like a, a very slight relationship there because if you don't have any money on you if you don't have any like if you don't have your finances in order you're gonna be like fucking in, in for like a very tr like horrible surprise because you're gonna be like so like cold and miserable you're not gonna be able to afford food and stuff like that so i, I know it's, this is like, it's kind of these types of videos are very cliche aren't they materialism and happiness well am i, am I going to tell you that you should not care about money and stuff and you should like be like a bum on the street and like and stuff and you should just not even be concerned about like getting money or having a job or anything like that and just, you should just be like a bum on the street or like be a, a hobo in a cave like, you have to drink your own piss and consume your own feces to stay alive obviously materialism and happiness there is like a very slight relationship because we do as human beings we do need money we you have to be concerned about the material world i mean kind of like a dumbass a couple of my other videos I'm, I'm, I'm making it seem like you should like be completely like detached from the material world you should should only care about like spirituality and being like conceptual and stuff which is kind of dumb in a very practical sense we need to be like material human beings we need to be materialistic you need to get a fucking job you need to care about making money and stuff like that just to keep the lights on and so you can eat like a decent like amount of food and stuff and, and you can get the things that you need to like to stay comfortable and alive materialism is not in it it's not innately horrible and bad because we as human beings we need a lot of these types of material materialistic commodities around us to keep up to keep ourselves going and to make sure that we are comfortable and like we're not like bums on the street or like hobos in caves that drink our own piss and consume our own feces to stay alive materialism and happiness there is like a very slight relationship there because if you're like completely like worse off if you don't have any type of finances money you're in like such a horrible like position in your life you're completely like poor and bankrupt and stuff and you don't have any type of resources to rely on you'll be very like miserable and depressed and sad so materialism and happiness there's like some type of relationship, I do believe so.
between like materialism and happiness. I do believe that to a, to, a, to an extent that we like we as human beings we need to be like somewhat materialistic. I don't, I don't I don't believe we need to be completely like um materialistic and only we need to like only like fucking think about like money and stuff. But I mean, if you don't think about money, you don't even bother like making trying to get money and you're gonna be like so worse off you're gonna be like a bum on the street and you're gonna be drinking your own piss and consuming your own feces to stay alive materialism and happiness there is like obviously to, to a certain extent materialism is like very important like caring about the physical material world and like very materialistic things like having a lot of money and stuff on you all that is kind of is sort of is important because if you don't care about money if you don't care about the materialistic world you're gonna be like in for like a horrible surprise because the world's gonna like whip you and hate you you're gonna experience all these tragedies and problems you're gonna be like a bum on the street and you're not gonna have the right amount of money just to keep the lights on and to, to keep food in your fridge and stuff materialism and happiness is there is like a slight relationship to a certain extent but you know like overall in terms of like your happiness like it's, it's, like, it's like a hamster on a wheel you make money and stuff like that to make your to, 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 to keep the lights on and to, to afford food but money in it, chasing money on its own that's not going to lead to anywhere meaningful is it you're just going to be it's like a hamster on a wheel you're just going to be spending you're going to earn money and you're going to spend money and you're just going to like it's like almost like an endless cycle of like cons consumerism and stuff it's kind of which is kind of like kind of like its own like type of problem that i don't want to get into in, into this video but materialism and happiness i do believe for sure that in terms of like pure genuine happiness pure genuine happiness i don't i do believe that there's like nothing in this world that can offer you any type of like pure genuine happiness obviously in terms of like satisfaction and joy i know i i got very like, I, like look at the ps5 man i fucking love it I, it gives me like some type of pleasure and stuff like that seeing it and like playing games on it and stuff but in terms of like pure genuine happiness i do there's like a law of diminishing returns like when you get something that you really like it starts to become kind of mundane over time and stuff so in terms of like pure happiness and joy pure happiness and joy i do believe I like materialism cannot like we cannot fill this type of void in you if you only care about materialism and, and stuff like that and you will you're only concerned about like very materialistic commodities obviously i'm not gonna be a dumbass for sure us human beings we are like materialistic creatures it's like we're, 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 we're literally just like sophisticated um primates you know that us human beings we're like literally look at our physiological characteristics we're literally just sophisticated we're literally sophisticated primates that's what we are we're just like we have like these fucking monkey brains and stuff we're like very sophisticated primates to, so to, obviously us human beings are sophisticated primates we are like very materialistic like we care about things that are pretty and nice and shiny and stuff and we like having food in the fridge and stuff to keep our bellies warm and stuff and to keep ourselves fucking full us human beings are like we are like sophisticated primates to, to an extent, maybe if you're like a, a person that believes in like um, Darwinism and stuff, maybe if you if you're like a Muslim or Christian, you might you know what are you getting a sophisticated primate? No, I'm a I'm from Adam. I don't know. It's all about your opinions and beliefs, but you know, materialism and happiness, which is the topic of this video. If you if you don't care about money at all, though, you don't care about making money at all, and you, so you're just gonna be a bum on the street, and then you're gonna like have to drink your own piss and eat your own feces to stay alive this is what i'm talking about like materialism and happiness there is like because you need to be well off to, to some extent you have to be like somewhat materialistic you do have to care about money to some extent but overall i do believe that money overall if you make it like your end goal like getting a lot of money okay you're gonna be you're gonna have like a very comfortable nice life but is that really gonna offer you like some type of internal fulfillment and contentment i don't know all of that's like opinions and subjective and obviously you're like you're 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 your own unique special person but at least in my opinion materialism will never like be only concerned about the material world being concerned about getting like a lot of material wealth a lot of money women whatever you want to call it expensive cars all of that type of stuff it's like a hamster on a wheel again you're gonna like experience these like temporary forms of like fulfillment and happiness but it's gonna always be like so short-lived and like not long-lasting it's gonna be so like temporary so materialism and happiness i'm not gonna be a dumbass a lot of people like a lot, a lot of like hippie people they'll tell you that oh you should, money is like it doesn't even it's not real you should you shouldn't even care about money or like um money or like um the, the, this type of material world you should just be completely detached off and meditate all day and stuff and be and maybe drink your own piss and eat your own feces to stay alive materialism and happiness you do have to be assuming we you have to be somewhat materialistic come on us human beings we're like so like sophisticated primates i don't know we're like tribal like, we're like literally like monkey people we have like these very primitive like archaic caveman brains we like see shiny things that we like we like we see all these types of things that we like shiny shiny thing makes me happy we're like very like where we are like sort of like sophisticated primates i don't know if, if you believe in the theory of evolution obviously you might be a religious person you might think that i'm just saying something that's like very obscene but you know either way like materialism is like so important for us human beings 
these types of materialistic commodities and items and stuff we do need some type of materialistic like desire we do need it to keep ourselves alive and to keep ourselves thriving because if we if you if you don't care about money and wealth and all that type of stuff if you're just completely detached if, you're, if you just want to be like a hippie in a cave drinking your own urine consuming your own piss and feces and you're gonna be like kind of quite um depressed i don't know maybe not depressed but you, you're not gonna be thriving you'll be like very like badly um badly stunted i don't know however you want to term it so it was like materialism and happiness to, to an extent like for sure material we are materialistic creatures as human beings we are superficial creatures we are very materialistic creatures i'm not gonna like sugar call anything i fucking love my uh, ps5 my computer my my video games all these types of things in my in my room my action figures i got there i fucking love that shit it brings me so much so much like happiness and joy these old computers there and stuff like that all of that it brings me so much like internal like not intro but it does bring me like some type of satisfaction and, and joy but like in terms of like pure genuine like peace and contentment and fulfillment i don't I, I do believe that there's nothing in this material world that can offer you any type of like pure like fulfillment and happiness and joy that's kind of like very that's very hard to think about it pure as in like like somewhat long lasting because a lot of like a lot of what we assume is a lot of what we experience is so temporary you get like something some type of car and it gives you like this temporary form of like happiness and joy you get you get with like some type of attractive woman you might engage in intercourse it gives you like a temporary form of like pleasure everything like a lot of like our materialistic like desires it's they they always like they're so temporary they never last for a long period of time it's kind of interesting pretty much literally i think i do believe that a lot of our desires and stuff like that is so temporary like in terms of like materialism materialism this materialistic world this world that we have and stuff like that, and all the materialistic things and commodities and items that we could potentially get our hands on all of these types of things they will only offer you like a very temporary temporary form of like happiness and and joy not nothing long lasting no like long lasting fulfillment it's kind of so interesting that's what like in terms of like pure happiness and joy pristine like without any type of um without any type of any type of like fucking um compromise uh, not compromise but in, in terms of like pure happiness joy but in terms, and in regards to like materialism i don't know materialism and happiness is there like any type of direct relationship between like materialism having like a lot of money expensive cars women and all that type of stuff does that is that gonna make you happy is that gonna like lead to any type of real genuine pure happiness i don't know it's all subjective we're all built differently i don't know some people they they get what they, they, they their type of ha they might like this type of happiness like they get with a lot of attractive women they sleep with them they get all the expensive cars they get a lot of money that's what makes them really happy that some people might be like that i don't know we're all kind of different some of us might be more like about books and knowledge and learning and all that type of stuff either way but overall i do believe that money not money but your materialism money is kind of is kind of related materialism and happiness in, in regards to like materialism and happiness i believe I don't believe there's any type of direct relationship. There is a slight relationship because if you're like a bum, if you don't have any money, if you don't have any like anything to keep you comforted and, and joyful and happy, then you're gonna be kind of like worse off and you're gonna be like suffering from like, you're, you're gonna be a bum on the street drinking your own urine and piss and you're gonna be so worse off. There is like, they, they, they do come to go, like materialism does, you have to be somewhat materialistic for sure. You can't be like some type of dumbass, like a monk, hippie like guy. You're in a cave, you drink your own urine and you eat your own feces to stay alive materialism and happiness i do believe there's like a slight relationship i don't believe there's like a very direct relationship that's like so interesting materialism and happiness they're they're definitely they they they're they have the same type of um they're they're in the same boat i don't know maybe because without like money you you're just a bum and you're drinking your own piss and eating your own feces so materialism and happiness you have to be somewhat well off. You don't have to be like, maybe perhaps there's like to, to a certain extent, money and stuff and some type of materialistic commodities. That's like so, somewhat important. But I believe overall in terms of like, um, in terms of like um, everything and stuff like that, your overall life and stuff, materialism, I don't believe that having a lot of money, expensive cars, all that type of stuff is gonna mean anything in the long run, in my opinion. Because all these things are temporary. You're gonna turn old, you're gonna die. All the money and cars, they're not gonna come with you and stuff. And these types of things, money, and stuff like that having a lot of money getting a lot of expensive cars sleeping with a lot of attractive women all these types of things you'll realize and notice like once you have these types of things would you and you gain these types of things these types of things they're so temporary and fleeting you you start to like become kind of like well these types of things they don't bring you happiness and joy anymore they start to become mundane and boring that's so interesting again like a hamster on a wheel you want fulfillment and um happiness and stuff but you're chasing if you like only care about materialism and like having these materialistic things like pretty like a good game console computers attractive women expensive cars if you only care about these sorts of things 
It's like a hamster on a wheel. You want fulfillment and happiness, but you're chasing things that are so temporary and pointless. Ultimately, I don't know, obviously materialism and happiness, there is definitely like a type of relationship between materialism and happiness. Cause if you're like, if you're, if you completely don't even care about like the material world, you don't care about making money. You don't care about like having any type of like um, material commodities with you and stuff. You're gonna be way worse off. I'm telling you, cause you're gonna be a bum on the street. Cause if you don't care about making money, you're just, you'll be a bum on the street. You'll be, you're gonna have to drink your own piss and eat your own pieces to stay alive. So materialism and happiness, there's a slight relationship for sure. I'm not gonna be a dumbass and tell you, oh, you you should not be concerned about the material world. You should not care about money and women, getting women and like expensive cars. You should care about those types of things. But are these types of things gonna give you any type of long lasting happiness, joy, fulfillment? It's like a hamster again on a wheel. Hamsters on a wheel, it's like, you wanna expect, you wanna like get some type of real fulfillment, happiness, joy, but I don't know. Trying to like look at ch chasing like the material world and these types of very materialistic things like women, cars, money is that, that I don't believe that's going to offer you anything meaningful in regards to like happiness. Obviously, I'm not going to be a dumbass to tell you money does not matter. Money to, to a certain extent matters a lot, quite frankly. Money, some materialism, you do have to care about like making money and like making sure you're like in a decent apartment. You have to be somewhat materialistic. All of us human beings, a lot of like um, hippie type people, they tell you that you should not care about anything materialistic. You should be like a bum in a cave. You should drink your own piss and eat your own feces to stay alive. That is asinine and stupid. We do have to be somewhat materialistic for sure. I do know that for sure. You don't want to be a bum on the street, drinking your own piss and consuming your own feces to stay alive. That is so important that, you know, materialism, you have, we, us, we, you have to be somewhat materialistic, somewhat materialistic to some extent like materialism is important like caring about the physical material world these physical material commodities and items and money and and resources and women and cars you have to care about these types of things to a certain extent but overall these types of things in the long run they're not gonna, they're like they're not going to offer you anything meaningful in the long run that's like so important i was like thinking about like the bigger picture happiness materialism and happiness is there like a direct relationship i don't know i don't know something that you gotta really caref carefully think about is I do believe that in terms of like pure happiness and joy, I do believe that there's nothing in this like a material world that can offer you any like type of real pure happiness and joy. Nothing in this material, physical world, this entire world will never like fulfill you completely. It will always, you'll always be like kind of sort of empty inside. That's what always typically happens. Like people, they get like, some people, they become like very decently wealthy. They, they start to get like a lot of attractive women around them and they get all these expensive cars and money, but they, it just becomes like a hamster on a wheel. They can't, they keep chasing these types of things and these things, they lead them towards nowhere and stuff. Happiness in, in like, well, obviously word definitions, why is materialism, why is happiness? These are like so subjective and stuff. I do believe that materialism is, is, is important. Obviously, you have to care about money. You have to care about like having all these types of nice things around you to keep your stuff comfortable and stuff. But are these types of things that important in the long run in, the, in terms of like the bigger picture is having like a lot of money, expensive cars and stuff. And like, a P, I, got, I got a PS5 there. Are all of these things going to like mean anything in the long run in terms of like the bigger, bigger picture? I don't know. It's so important that you do like kind of contemplate on these types of things materialism and happiness is there like a direct relationship between materialism and happiness can we ever like experience any type of pure happiness and joy from like from this type of material world at all that's very um like speculative and stuff and there's no like clear answer to these types of questions can we as human beings experience any type of real pure happiness and joy and fulfillment from like this type of material world you'll notice quickly that like any type of like materialistic pursuit that you might have after you accomplish it like you you want to get a lot you you want to like sleep with a lot of women you do that and then it becomes meaningless. It becomes temporary. It becomes mundane and boring. You get all the you 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 bang a lot of attractive women. You get all the expensive cars. You make a lot of money. All these types of things. Once you get them, they become so like mundane and boring. They 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 create like a hole inside of your heart, and that's so interesting to me. Materialism and happiness. I believe that there is literally nothing in this type of material world. There's nothing in this world that will offer you anything like meaningful in regards to like fulfillment, happiness, and joy. There's nothing in this material world that will offer you anything meaningful. In regards to like happiness and joy and it's so interesting to be materialism and happiness i believe obviously just to, to some extent materialism is important you have to care about making money otherwise you know lights don't stay on and you're gonna be like a bum on the street or you're gonna be like a hobo in a cave drinking your own piss and eating your own feces to stay, to stay alive materialism is important i'm not gonna be a dumbass and tell you that you should not care about making money and getting, getting with women and expensive cars some people they tell you that you should just be completely detached and just be a bum on the street no and drink your own piss and eat your own feces. Like, oh, that's fucking dumb shit. Materialism is like super important, but in terms of like 
pure happiness and joy. I don't believe that there's anything in this material world, this physical world that can offer you anything like meaningful and, and long lasting. Everything, like all these types of things that we chase, like money, women, cars, except other like materialistic commodities. It's like a hamster on a wheel. We uh, these, chasing these things, it leads to nowhere. Materialism and, and happiness. I do believe there's like a very slight relationship in terms of like overall happiness. I don't believe there is anything in this like physical material world that can offer you like anything meaningful, like pure happiness and joy and stuff. I don't want this video to be too long and that's about it.